Now, I want to talk a little bit more about what grid lines are. So let me put some origin on the plane here. And if I think about some grid line, how about this grid line? I'll emphasize it right there. Well, what that grid line really is, is notice how that from the origin, I'm stepping one to the right. So I, I've got an E1. But a grid line is an entire line. So it's like stretching an arbitrary amount and then arbitrary amount T. So I'm going to say plus an arbitrary amount T in that E2 direction. And that's what a grid line really is. Likewise, a horizontal grid line, it's, it's going up some amount in the E2, fixing that amount, and then being arbitrary in how much you go along the E1. Those are what these lines are going to be. So now I want to come up with the analogous idea, but for the basis vectors, the A1 that I have sticking up over there, and the A2 that I have sticking up over there. Let's think about what, say, the line is where I go out one copy of A1. And then I just go any amount of the A2s that I wish. Well, this is going to look like a line that goes through these points here. I'm going any amount along in this E2. It's an arbitrary full line, but I've shifted it by adding one copy of the E1s. I could also draw the line that's being shifted by two copies of that A1, or I could come down here and draw the line that's shifted by minus one copy of the A1, and, and I get all of these different parallel lines. The most important, perhaps, of all of the ones is the ones where I don't do any shifting at all, and I just get this line that goes directly through the A2 vector. And then I can do the same basic story for the A1s. I, first of all, if I don't shift at all, I'm going to get the vector that goes just right through A1, and that gives me a whole line. And then I could shift down just a little bit and I could get a line that looks like this one or I could shift up and get a line that looks like this one. So in other words, what I'm doing is I'm getting a coordinate system generated by this basis that gives me a whole bunch of different grid lines. And the grid lines are just sort of going an arbitrary amount in one of the basis vectors and fixing an amount in the other basis vector. And then if I want to choose a random point, like how about this one right here, well, to get that one, I start in the origin and I go down one value in the A2 and then I go down one value in the A1 and that gets me to my point. So any point can be found within this coordinate system. 